Let's make this colorful rainbow art wall hanging with resin. We'll use a painted layers technique to create this awesome depth in the finished design. Start with a round tray with sides, paint it white, and then paint the middle sky blue. My tray has a 13 inch inside diameter and 3 quarter inch tall sides. Next, print the rainbow template from our website. Tape the two pieces together and trim away the excess paper. Test to be sure the rainbow fits into your tray. If not, try scaling the template up or down to the size you need. Now let's make a transparent pattern that we can use to transfer the design for each step. Put a piece of white tissue paper over the template and trace it with a pencil. Time to add the first layer of resin. I used Moss Art Pro Epoxy and mixed it in a 1 to 1 ratio according to package directions. My 13 inch tray needs 5 ounces of epoxy for a 1 16th inch thick layer. If your tray is a different size, use Moss's resin calculator tool to see how much you'll need. Pour the resin over the dried blue paint to create your first layer. Use a heat gun to gently warm up the resin so that it flows easily and blow it up to the edges, getting good coverage. Wave a torch over any bubbles that appear to pop them and then leave it to set up overnight. Now you can paint on the first layer. Position the template in the middle of the cured resin and trace part of the design with a fine point sharpie. The sharpie will bleed through the tissue paper just enough to leave a faint outline on the resin below. For this step, you only need to trace the outermost layer of the clouds and the innermost line of the rainbow. To add the layers of color, you need acrylic craft paint in a rainbow of colors, as well as white. I used DecoArt's multi-surface craft paint. Start by painting the cloud areas with white using several coats if needed for good coverage. Then use the purple paint to paint your first stripe right along the line you traced. Don't worry too much about the width because the other side will be covered up by the next stripe later. When the paint is dry, line up your tissue paper template again to be sure you covered all the areas. If not, make any corrections needed to the paint before continuing. Then mix up another batch of epoxy and pour it over the purple and white paint layer. Warm it up and pop the bubbles as before, creating a clear and smooth layer to add dimension to the piece. When the resin has cured, use the template to trace your second rainbow band, then paint it dark blue. Add another layer of resin to seal it up and let it cure. Use the template again to trace the next line, then paint it with a lighter blue and add another coat of resin. Repeat those steps again with the green paint and another layer of resin. For the next tracing, do the rainbow band as before, but this time also trace the next layer of clouds. Paint the stripe yellow and the clouds white. This will add so much dimension and make the clouds look puffy. Seal it all up with, you guessed it, another coat of resin. Repeat your normal tracing steps to add the orange band to the rainbow, then another coat of resin. Don't forget to use your torch on every resin layer to be sure you don't have any bubbles. Once more, trace the next stripe for your final band of color on the rainbow. This time you'll trace both sides of the band, and we'll need to be sure your painted edge is straight on both sides since it's the last color in the rainbow. Just look at that amazing depth from all the individual layers. Add another coat of resin, let it cure, and then put the pattern on one final time to trace the last cloud layer. Make sure it covers the ends of the rainbow bands so that they look like they're tucked into the cloud. Paint the clouds white, making sure to use several coats if needed to get good coverage over the other colors. One more final coat of resin will seal it all up. When it cures, you've got a gorgeous and colorful piece of art ready to hang.